Brazil's pursuit of a modern anti-ship missile has become one of the most important steps in its broader journey toward defense autonomy and strategic influence. For many years, Brazil relied on imported systems or legacy solutions that did not fully match the country's geographic realities or long-term naval doctrine. But as the Brazilian Navy looks toward the next decade, the need for a long-range, domestically guided maritime strike capability has become increasingly clear. The development of the MANSUP program and now the emergence of the extended range MANSUP ER reflects a growing understanding that naval deterrence in the South Atlantic depends on the ability to deliver precise, survivable, and flexible firepower at significant distances. Brazil's maritime space, sometimes called the Blue Amazon, is vast and strategically vital. It contains critical shipping lanes, offshore oil platforms, fisheries, and naval bases that form the backbone of Brazil's economy and national security. Protecting these areas requires more than patrol ships and surveillance aircraft. It requires a layered defense architecture that includes long-range anti-ship missiles capable of shaping an adversary's behavior before any confrontation begins. As international naval activity increases across the Atlantic, Brazil cannot rely solely on presence. It must develop reach. The original MANSUP project emerged more than a decade ago as an effort to build foundational competencies in propulsion, guidance, aerodynamic stability, and warhead design. While the first generation MANSUP served primarily as a proof of concept, it demonstrated an important truth. Brazil could develop sophisticated missile technologies, even if initial capabilities were modest compared to world standards. The program matured quietly, learning from test flights, refining seeker performance, and strengthening cooperation between industry and the Navy. This incremental progress laid the groundwork for something much more ambitious. That ambition became visible when Brazil signed an agreement to acquire KTJ-3200 turbojet engines from Turkaye. This engine provides the thrust necessary to transform the Mansup family into a missile with significantly extended range and higher survivability. Some observers questioned whether relying on a foreign engine undermined the idea of national autonomy. But in reality, Brazil is doing what all rising defense industries do, using targeted partnerships to accelerate development while building domestic competence in parallel. The KTJ-3200 is not a dependency. It is a stepping stone. It gives the Brazilian Navy a reliable propulsion solution today, while industry gains the time and experience needed to develop future indigenous engines. Although official specifications for the MANSUP ER remain undisclosed, it is possible to analyze the likely performance envelope based on propulsion type, airframe design, and Brazil's operational requirements. The extended range will almost certainly be substantially greater than the original MANSUP. A sea-skimming flight profile combined with inertial navigation, satellite guidance, and an active terminal seeker would allow the missile to penetrate modern naval defenses. The warhead, optimized for defeating medium and large surface combatants, will rely on precision impact rather than brute explosive power. The result is a system capable of forcing potential adversaries to stay far from Brazilian waters during any crisis. Developing a domestic anti-ship missile matters for reasons beyond capability. Imported systems are often subject to political restrictions, supply vulnerabilities, or export limitations that may not align with Brazil's strategic needs. By producing its own missile, Brazil gains freedom of integration, freedom of modernization, and freedom of stockpiling. 
The importance of this autonomy becomes clearer when considering the role of the Tamandare class frigates, which represent the future of Brazil's surface fleet. These ships, equipped with advanced sensors and combat systems, offer a natural platform for deploying MANSUP ER, creating a complete kill chain designed around national technologies. Integrating a long-range missile into the Tamandre class does more than upgrade firepower. It changes the logic of naval operations. Instead of relying on close-range engagements, the Navy would be able to deter or strike at standoff distances, shaping the tactical environment before a threat approaches Brazilian waters. This shift is central to Brazil's vision for naval operations in the 2035 timeframe, when the service hopes to field a fleet capable of protecting offshore infrastructure, supporting international cooperation, and deterring unwanted presence in the South Atlantic. It is helpful to compare this new capability to other missiles in its class, such as the French Exocet or the American Harpoon. These systems have long histories and proven combat records, and they continue to serve effectively in many navies. But Brazil's objective is not to replicate these missiles. It is to create a weapon tailored to its own geography, doctrine, and industrial ecosystem. The MANSUP ER represents a generational transition, not a competition. It reflects a desire to match global standards while optimizing for Brazil's specific maritime environment. The industrial dimension of the MANSUP ER program should not be underestimated. As Brazil develops seeker technologies, propulsion expertise, materials engineering, and electronic warfare resistance, it builds human capital that strengthens the entire defense sector. Export potential also grows. Many Latin American navies operate small or medium-sized fleets and may seek cost-effective anti-ship solutions that do not depend on the political constraints of traditional suppliers. If Brazil succeeds in proving the reliability of MANSUP ER, it may discover new markets that reinforce its status as a defense exporter alongside Embraer's aerospace successes. The missile's future is not limited to warships. Brazil may explore ground-launched versions to strengthen coastal defense, or air-launched variants compatible with maritime patrol aircraft, or a future KC-390 ISR configuration. This would allow Brazil to create a multi-domain strike ecosystem, integrating sensors from ships, aircraft, and drones into a unified maritime picture. Such a structure aligns perfectly with global trends in naval warfare, where the distinction between sea, air, and land is increasingly blurred. Looking to the year 2035, it is possible to imagine a Brazilian Navy equipped with an extended range strike capability, modern frigates, improved maritime patrol assets, and a revitalized industrial base. In such a scenario, Brazil would feel the strongest maritime deterrent in South America, shaped around weapons it designed and built itself. This would not only improve national security, but also enhance diplomatic leverage, as states with credible deterrence are better positioned to engage in regional and global dialogues. Naturally, challenges remain. Integrating a new missile into a fleet requires testing, doctrine development, crew training, and maintenance planning. Ensuring high seeker reliability, effective electronic counter countermeasures, and consistent engine performance will require careful engineering and sustained investment. But these challenges are normal for any missile program, and Brazil has already shown that it can handle complex aerospace and naval projects when it commits to long-term development. In the end, the story of the MANSUP ER is not just the story of a missile. It is the story of a nation stepping confidently into a new phase of its defense evolution. It signals that Brazil seeks not only to defend its waters, but also to shape its own technological destiny. For a country with the size, resources, and ambition of Brazil, 
Developing a domestically guided long-range anti-ship capability is both a logical step and a powerful declaration of intent. The coming decade will show how this capability integrates into the broader fabric of Brazil's naval modernization, but the direction is clear. Brazil is rising and it is choosing to rise through innovation, autonomy and strategic vision.